Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're running through economic growth and gross domestic product, or GDP, two super important concepts that tell us a lot about an economy's performance. In this video, we'll define economic growth, distinguish between real and nominal GDP, and then see how we can calculate the economic growth rate. Let's get started. Okay, a good place to start is the definition of economic growth. Economic growth is defined as an increase in the output produced by an economy over a period of time, generally a year. In order to measure this output, we look at gross domestic product, or GDP, the total value of goods and services produced in an economy over a year. Now, here we have to differentiate between nominal GDP and real GDP. Both nominal and real GDP refer to the value of all goods and services produced by an economy over time. However, nominal GDP considers the market value of these products, where market value is influenced by the price level within the economy. So if inflation increases, nominal GDP will also increase, even if the actual level of output hasn't grown. So if we look solely at changes in nominal GDP, we might think that output has increased, that is economic growth has increased, when in fact, it's just the price level that has risen. This is where real GDP comes in. Real GDP still measures the total value of goods and services made within the economy, but adjusts this figure for inflation. This means that real GDP looks at changes in output itself, therefore giving a much more accurate depiction of movements in an economy's production. So, if we want to be a bit more specific, economic growth can be defined as an increase in the real GDP of an economy over a year. It follows that we can measure economic growth by looking at the percentage change in real GDP. Economic growth is calculated using this formula. Real GDP in year two minus GDP in year one divided by real GDP in year one times 100. We find the difference between real GDP in years one and years two and divide this number by the GDP in year one. We then multiply this figure by 100, which gives us the GDP increase as a percentage. So, for example, let's say that for a certain economy, real GDP in year one was $200 million, and real GDP in year two was $205 million. To find the rate of economic growth, we subtract 200 from 205, divide by 200, and multiply by 100. This gives us 2.5, meaning that the economy grew by 2.5% from years one to two. Now, in this example, we got a positive number, meaning that the economy is growing. If we get a negative number, the economy is contracting or getting smaller. Now, the story gets a little more complicated if we're given nominal GDP figures and asked to find the rate of economic growth. Before we calculate economic growth, we have to convert nominal GDP into real GDP using this formula. Real GDP is equal to nominal GDP divided by CPI times 100. Essentially, we divide nominal GDP by the Consumer Price Index, or CPI for short, and multiply by 100. If you haven't run into it yet, the CPI measures changes in the price level over time. So, by dividing nominal GDP by CPI, we remove the effects of inflation and obtain real GDP. Then we can use our real GDP figures to calculate real economic growth. Let's run through an example. Let's say that nominal GDP is equal to $10 million in year one and $15 million in year two. The CPI is 100 in year one and 120 in year two. We're asked to calculate the rate of economic growth. So the first step here is to find real GDP in each year by dividing nominal GDP by the CPI and then multiplying by 100. Doing so, we find that real GDP is $10 million in year one and $12.5 million in year two. We can now use these real figures to find the rate of economic growth. So 12.5 million minus 10 million divided by 10 million times 100. And we get 25%. So economic growth between year one and year two is equal to 25%. Done. And there you have it. Let's run through the key points we learned today. Economic growth is defined as an increase in real GDP within an economy over a period of time, most commonly a year. 
Looking at changes in real GDP provides the most accurate indication of changes in production within an economy, as it removes the effect of inflation, whereas nominal GDP doesn't make this adjustment. When asked to calculate the rate of economic growth, just remember to be careful with your calculations and, importantly, to convert your nominal GDP figures to real GDP if necessary. Let's wrap it up there. Thanks for watching.